I created several other operations here. So we're going to bring in uh, the load food and removed cook food functions. Okay, we're going to delete the targets because we typically don't use those. They just clutter up the diagram. So control D removes them. We're going to have raw food coming in. So we have an accept event here to show we're getting that from somewhere. And we have an object flow, meaning something's flowing into the raw food pin here. The raw food flows out of the load food into the cook food function. The heat comes out of combust fuel into the heat here. Um, the cooked food comes out to the remove cooked food. And that needs to go to basically ascend, that we're sending the cooked food somewhere. So I'm just dragging and dropping here as well. So let's go ahead and auto arrange that and see how this looks. So the raw food goes into the load food. That raw food then goes into cook food with the heat. The air needs to come in from somewhere. So we'll go ahead and add the air in. Just dragging and dropping that. Again, an object flow into this air flow. And we need to have fuel coming in as well. Now we just have ash and smoke going to nowhere. And so we could do one of two things. We could click on this, bring the object flow out. Right-clicking, I could have this go to a flow final, just showing we don't care where it goes but we probably should show it going somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and send this uh, on its way out. And so with that, I'm going to hit Escape, and we will just go ahead and have this be Ascend for both the ash, and it gives me a choice to pick. So this is Smoke Out, and here's another Send. This will be Ash. And so this ash is going here. And this smoke is going there. And again, we do another auto arrange. So all the pins are satisfied. They have inputs and outputs. The only thing we haven't said is where this actually terminates. And so we'll go ahead and basically just have a terminator coming out of here with the logic right clicking to the activity final. So when we take the cooked food off, we're done. And so that basically is our, oh, we now have two finals. So I'm just going to control D and delete that one. And so now we have a nice, well-formed activity diagram. We show the food coming in. We're combusting, cooking, removing the cooked food, and we're complete. Now we have a slight uh, opportunity here to leverage our work because smoke food and cook food are almost identical. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy the cook food activity diagram. So we're going to select this in the containment tree. We're going to copy the cooking food activity, which will bring everything along for the ride. And we're going to paste this onto smoke food. And so we just need to rename this. Smoke food. And notice it also renamed the activity diagram. The only thing that's missing is we have to have a smoke food function. And so we'll come to the functional block here and we'll copy the cook food. Copy paste it so they're both owned by the same. And we're just going to rename this smoke food. Now smoke needs to have the smoke itself as an input and an output. So we'll go to combust fuel and we will copy the smoke food uh, the smoke signal. So I'm going to hold the control key down and drag onto smoke food. And this now has the smoke parameter. It's not optional and it's an in out because the smoke comes in and out. And so now we are on the 
we'll go ahead and open up the smoke food activity diagram. We will go ahead and add the smoke food function here in place of the cooked food. So we're just going to drag this on and watch what happens. It's going to change that. We're going to assign this operation to it. And notice it popped on here the smoke input and output. So it added the new pins that we had. And so it's pretty smart. We're just going to drag the smoke from the combustion here. And we'll put the smoke out here. And notice in a matter of seconds, we've created our tailored activity diagram for smoking food. And so the smoke now shows that we're using smoke as an input also. And uh, that's all there was to it. So again, copy, paste, or control, drag, let us very quickly copy that parameter. In a matter of moments, we have the special use case for smoking food. Actually, the special activity diagram for smoking food.